<clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lela Monet. It's Lela Monet Gang. Lela Monet Gang. What they do? Lela Monet Gang. Lela Monet Gang. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 10. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 10, y'all. I've been on a roll, y'all. Like, I've been dropping videos every single day, and I didn't think that I could make it, but. I'm doing good so far, y'all. Um, make sure that you go watch the other Vlogtober days, the other videos that I have posted. Make sure you go watch them. Make sure you like the video. And if you're not subscribed, if you're new to the channel, go subscribe. Subscribe right now. Press the subscribe button right now. You know? But, yeah, guys. I'm back. So, this video is really just going to be... um explain it i'm gonna explain to you guys like what music means to me what i want to accomplish and like why i chose to be a music artist and everything so hey guys if you don't know um i am a music artist my name is Layla monet i make music i record music i write my own music i perform i do all of that um so honestly i'm just gonna get straight into it so um i like I chose to be a music artist because I genuinely just like being music, like being um, like making music. I genuinely just like making music. My family really like my family was always in the music business, so it's kind of like I was like raised in it, if that makes sense. Like, um, like my mom's a singer, my dad's a singer, like my my uncles are singers. You know, I have uncles that play in bands. Like, you know, my whole family is like in some type of dealing with some type of music. So I always grew up like going to church. I always grew up like going to concerts or like, you know, hearing my stepdad play or hearing my mom sing or, you know, I just always, you know, grew up that kind of way. So I was already in like music. I was already involved in music. But, um, I I realized that I wanted well actually I didn't I was not um a music artist I was not a music artist at first y'all I started out as a dancer um I used to perform you know places because at first I was a really shy kid y'all like I didn't wanna I was a really shy kid um so but once I started dancing like dancing in churches and then I started like um, joining dance teams and stuff like that. I kind of busted out of my, like, shy stage or whatever. I'm still kind of a little shy. Like, it's still some shyness in me, but I kind of, like, overcame that. Um, but, um, yeah, I started out as a dancer, and then the manager that I had at the time, he actually the one that, like, told me that, like, I should use my vocals, like, um, I'm not really gonna go deep in that, but yeah, he's the one that actually told me like, hey, you should start instead of just dancing everywhere, you should start making music and, you know, stuff like that. And I already had like a passion for music, but I just never thought of like me writing music, performing music, you know, in front of people, performing the music I wrote. Like, it's just like, you know, I never thought of that, but um, I took his advice. At first I was a little like, Mm, I don't know if I want to do that, you know, but I took his advice, um, and I do give him his props for that, so thank you, um, if you ever do see this in the future, or if, like, I get famous one day, and this video goes to you, or anything like that, thank you, um, he knows who he is, thank you, um, for helping me. Um, what I was going to say though, but, um, yeah, so as I recorded my first song, um, he gave me a beat or whatever, I got a beat, and it was really like, it was really like already kind of like, it's like I said, I grew up with music, so it was already kind of like in my blood, if that makes sense, like, oh, it was already like in my genes, so when I heard the beat, like, I'm already writing, like, and I never, like, I don't I had never did it before, but, like, it was, like, I was good at rhythm. I was good at, like, expressing my feelings, and I, when I heard the beat, I was just going. And that is how my first song, um, for the ones that don't know what my first song is, my first song that I ever recorded, like, as a solo artist, was called Tried It, y'all. Um, that's how my song Tried It came about. And so, um basically 
after um after I recorded tried it after I recorded tried it uh, um I just started like I performed that song a lot like every I was starting to get like you know perform at concerts I was starting to like perform at like little gigs like the park birthday party stuff like that and I was just performing my song and everybody was just like they loved it like everybody was just like yes like this go hard the beat go hard the song go hard and you know you know that was really like what really made me that's like the beginning of like my career I wouldn't say it was like what made me become an artist. It's not the beginning of my career because like when I think of beginning of my career, I think of like when I like started really popping, which is like now now that more people know me. But um, but that was like the start of everything, like the start of everything. But yeah, basically after I um. After that, I just started performing more. And, like, my first performance that I did recording, like, rapping my songs, I did good, but I definitely improved. I definitely improved. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can find the video. I'm going to try to see if I can find the video of my first performance. My first performance, I was in a group, a girl group. It was me and my other partner. But, um... So that was my first performance. I'm gonna see if I can find a video to like let y'all let y'all um see it or whatever. If I can't, it's not gonna be in this video. I am so sorry. But if it is, then you see that. But um really I just that was my first performance. If you like look at that performance and then look at like all the other performances that like I do now. I definitely improved. I improved so much. I improved stage presence. I improved, and, you know, just with like music people like giving me advice and like performers giving me advice on stage presence and everything, and like me actually taking it in. I, yes, I really improved on like that or whatever. But anyways, <clears throat> so as I began to like perform more and everything, I started like falling in love with it like i started like oh, okay and seeing the reactions that i was getting like everybody just like why haven't you been did this like why are you just now doing this like you are dope you got potential you got this you got that i got fans telling me like like imagine you nobody knows you and then you make a song and you perform and then now it's like little kids telling you like oh my god i love you so much i love your song it's just like whoa like you love me i'm the one you love i'm i'm just like you like we're the same like what you talking about like you know and it, it was very just overwhelming like not overwhelming it was overwhelming but like more in a good way like it wasn't like a bad overwhelming it was like overwhelming more in a good way but um you know as i just performed i fell more in love with music um and then i just started like okay I was seeing the reactions that I was getting and I was seeing like how much I like loved performing. Then I started um I started getting more beats and writing more songs and recording more songs and that's kind of really the role of how Layla came about like you know um I'm not really gonna go into deep because one day I'm gonna be in an interview and one day I'm gonna tell y'all the real deep story but I'm gonna save that for whatever time I um whatever time I want to be in it whatever time I get interviewed um now now i'm gonna take out like what i want to accomplish and you know everything so um oh don't mind my hair what i want to accomplish i really would love to do an interview like i did an interview before but like as a like i want to do an interview like a tv interview like oh i'm on a or oh, i'm on a radio and i'm doing an interview or i'm on a tv show and you know i'm doing an interview uh you know I really just, it's a lot of things that I want to accomplish. Like, one day I want to perform at a famous music concert. Like, one day I want to perform in front of, like, millions of people. One day I want to, like, drop a song and it, it's trending number one automatically. Like, you feel me? It's a lot of things that I want to accomplish as an artist 
that like I still have to do like people think just because oh I have a little following now that I have supporters stuff like that that like I'm done I'm not done y'all I have so much to accomplish I'm telling you I have I wish I could show you I have literally two notebooks full of songs that I need I need beats too I need and the only thing that's really stopping me from taking off right now and a lot of people ask this question a lot of people ask why are you not dropping music a lot of people ask why are you not you know why are you not recording music well why are you not like recording more songs or whatever and it's just like y'all I don't I don't want to make it seem like like I don't have no help because like emotionally and like family wise like my mom my uncles my auntie like my family is very supportive so family wise i have the support but when it comes to like people that actually really know the music business like my type of music it's like in st louis you don't really have that help you feel me like and that's what's really that's what i feel like that's really stopping me like st louis st louis you know when you and not to like talk down on my city because i love my city i love st louis i like when I get older, like, when I be popping, I'm always going to rep St. Louis. But if you in St. Louis, then you know there's, like, more rappers that rap about, like, guns and stuff than rap about the things that, you know, I rap about. And, and it's just, like, if I'm not rapping about, if I'm not rapping about guns, drugs, if I'm not rapping about twerking on like twerking on them head like nah I'm just lying. if i'm not you know if i'm not rapping about like any of those things though it's like you don't really get noticed in st louis like you know and that's what like yeah like if i'm not rapping about those things and that's just being honest like like i said i really love my city i'm always gonna rep through and for because that's where i'm from i was raised this way i was raised that way but like i'm speaking just from like the the music my friends listen to the music like you know every the music that i seen like other people listen to that's in st louis like people most of the i'm not saying everybody in st louis but most of the people in st louis love listening to their like twerk music their trap music they're like and you know that's just not the music that i make and then not only that like music promoters music people like mu people in the industry that's like from st louis they also promote that type of music too and it's just like i don't do that music and there's not like there's not really promoters or there's not really music managers that want to help with the mu the type of music that i do so uh, right now it's like i'm a solo like i'm a solo artist but right now it's like i'm an independent artist and it's like I'm doing everything and if you don't know what an independent artist is an independent artist is basically doing everything on your own like money is coming out of my pocket i don't have no label pen for my stuff music videos i don't have no label pen for my stuff like photo shoots when i do photo shoots when i do interviews when i do when i have to get clothes for shoes when i have to rehearse for shows and i have to pay the background dance i have to make sure the dancers got their outfit when i have to you know when i have to do all those things that like y'all see me do y'all see me y'all see me do great shows with great outfits with great background dancers y'all see me do photo shoots and all that all of that money is coming out of me and my family pockets and it's just like i'm not at that level yet where i don't have to pay for you know i'm not at the level where i where I have a label that will pay for all that stuff. And all I got to do is write a song, perform, and, you know, be me. I'm not at that level yet. And it's, it's hard, y'all, because, like, I know a lot of people been wanting movie star music video. I know a lot of people, like, I just know a lot of people been wanting, like, where is the music video? You've been talking about this music video for so long, y'all. I'm, I'm asking the same question as y'all, like, I, I really want this music video, and I'm trying, y'all. That's why I'm trying to blow up on YouTube. That's why I'm trying to, like, because, like, you know, my mom, like, she's trying, but she got bills to pay. Then she got her own dreams. Then, and then, like, my dad's trying. My family's trying. Everybody has, like, bills. Everybody has stuff that they want to do. And, you know, it's, like me i'm I'm trying y'all like like i said the money is coming out of our pockets so it's not easy and then not only just me y'all i'm about to go to college 
I'm about to like I'm about to go to co yeah I'm about to go to college I'm about to graduate I got to do senior pictures I got prom I got I got to pay for college and y'all know if y'all go to college or if you in college or anything you know that college is very expensive like unless you get scholarships and stuff like that like and you know it's just like it's it's really money and I don't want to say money problems as far as like being broke because we're not broke at all but it's much as like we don't have thousands of dollars to like just do this and do that like that thousand dollars gotta go to bills or gotta go to the education like that like you feel me and it's just really it's just really hard y'all like that's like i said that's why i'm trying to blow up on youtube that's why i'm trying to like make my name known like, I know a lot of people just like, why haven't you been dropping music? I'm trying to make my name known, like, on other things, like, on TikTok. Like, yeah, I'm starting to blow up on TikTok. Like, the more I blow up, if you, like, you have to think, I have to think, like, I don't know how to say it, strategi strategically, strategically, I don't know how to say it. Hopefully, y'all know what I'm talking about. But I have to think like that. Like, I have to, my thought is, okay, I'm going to blow up on TikTok right and i'm already starting to blow up on tiktok i'm gonna blow up on tiktok and then i'm gonna transfer my tiktok fans my tiktok supporters i'm gonna transfer them to my youtube and i'm gonna be like okay go subscribe to this channel i just dropped the video i just dropped the video to blow up my youtube and the more i blow up my youtube the more like okay not saying i'm just doing this for like money because i really do enjoy doing youtube yeah i really do enjoy like even before i thought about being a music artist or all that i will always love to record myself i always love the camera i always love you know like what i'm doing now i always love just you know doing this and doing pranks and doing videos like you guys my family like i was always that little girl so it's not really about the money for youtube but I actually do really enjoy doing this. But yeah, like I'm a trans like I'm a transfer my TikTok supporters to my YouTube and the more I grow on YouTube, like the more I can get paid off YouTube, the more that I could like make a name for myself on YouTube because YouTube can really take you far. YouTube and TikTok can really take you far, y'all. And so and then transfer my YouTube, my YouTube people to like my Instagram, to like my my music you feel me so it's really like honestly it's just like right now i do still want my music video y'all i'm still gonna do the music video i don't it's just right now i can't answer when i can't answer when the music video gonna come i can't answer i can't answer when i'm gonna drop another song i can't answer that because y'all i don't have no help money is coming out of my pocket and it's just like it's stressful believe me there are times that i feel like you know what forget it it's it's never gonna happen it's never gonna do this and sometimes like i still have those thoughts like i'm not even gonna lie to you i still have those thoughts like i might as well just give this music video up i might as well just like not even do this music video no more because it's never gonna happen people keep telling me stop talking about it and you know and all that but it's really it's honestly like i said and i don't want to do like no little music video i want the really good quality music video where like it looks like a movie type joint you know everything i do gotta be big i ain't need trying to be extra everything i do gotta be big though but um yeah so that's really why i haven't been why i haven't did a movie star video or why i haven't been dropping music but yeah it's really just patience it's really just patience um i'm still gonna do more remixes and everything more like remix videos and all of that and i am gonna still drop songs i i do want y'all to um keep keep like just stay with me stay with me stay connected with me stay watching my videos stay supporting me stay everything just stay okay you feel me um <clears throat> my bad yeah but yeah so right now i'm just trying to make a name for myself and once i finally make a name for myself oh i'm going crazy <laughs> i'm going crazy on it's really yeah like i said it's really in god's hands and it's really like it's it's up to me you feel me but um 
once I get the money rolling, once I get, you know, what I need to begin, oh, I'm going crazy. So, like I said, just keep supporting me, y'all. Keep uh, listening to my song. Keep listening to Movie Star. Um, keep making your videos to Movie Star. Let's keep, like, Movie Star popping. Let's keep sharing. Follow my TikTok. Follow my, uh, subscribe to my YouTube. I told you to subscribe in the beginning, but if you don't subscribe yet, subscribe to my YouTube. Follow my Instagram. And, yeah. Hopefully, um, hopefully y'all yeah, respect me and understand like my decision understand why movies that haven't been you know just understand like what really been happening and i'm just gonna keep trying to make a name for myself y'all but i love y'all so much and yeah bye guys